Hello, everybody. All right, I've gotten a lot of emails out there. People asking me, you know, what have I been doing? Uh, I haven't made a lot of videos, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to kind of give you an update where I'm at, what's been happening, and, and uh, what, what we have going on right now. Um, well, everybody knows, you know, three or four years ago, we, we lost our property uh, because of the economy and all that kind of good stuff. But that's the past. We're, we've moved on. Uh, it's taken me about three years to get my credit right. Uh, we, we were able to find a piece of property that was perfect for us, you know, 10 acres, um, a little old uh, cabin that needed some work, um, turned out really good. Okay, uh, in a nutshell, the, the projects that I have going on right now are all made and, and done out of recycled material. So stuff that was left over from the other farm, um, I've used on this farm and some of the other stuff that I've collected, you know, in the past, you know, couple years or so. So we're going to start at the beginning of the pond, uh, the first pond that I put together, and that was just to get my fish to the new location, and then everything kind of went from there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start there, and I'll, I'll give you a tour and, and tell you about what's going on. See you then. All right, the first thing up here on the roof of this uh, shed, that's where I just made this, the first part of this video. Uh, the shed was a shed that I moved along you know, with everything else and had to put it back together and then I ended up using you know recycled uh, shingles and everything to put it back together but it turned out fine you know not too many people get to see the top of the shed so I call it the Franken shed because it's bits and pieces of a little bit of everything and then even the shingles there's probably five six seven eight or more you know different type shingles all right so I'm gonna walk on over here to the edge kind of give you a bird's eye view of the ponds. Now this pond right down here is the first one that I dug um, just to be able to get my my koi and goldfish over to uh, the new property. And then the second one I dug which is basically a bog filter it's probably about 8 to 10 inches of pea gravel and then all the plants and stuff in it and then it moves up to another shelf which is right here same thing kind of a uh, just a, a pretty deep little spot to basically become a clarifier uh, to catch all the solids and that kind of stuff. And then another large pond, uh, same thing here. It, this whole thing was designed to be a filter uh, for the fish tanks that I have inside the shed that I just showed you the roof of. Uh, Alright, well, and of course the toilet. This is a toilet that came out of the house that we uh, remodeled and of course I had some fun with it and I went and right now the water's just pumping up to it and flowing back down. All right now ultimately this is going to continue on up. There's a a wall back here you can see it here and I'll take some more pictures once I get down on the ground. It, it's basically a wall of mirrors and water is going to come off the top of the wall and flow past these mirrors. Now these mirrors were recycled from the house. The house had several uh, closets that I did not want that were in the basement and throughout the house. So instead of just you know destroying them or getting rid of them, I decided to, to use them on this project. And it, it's really kind of hard to see right now. Uh, I'll have to show you some sketches later on if I can find them. Uh, the ideas that I, I come up with. So basically this water is going to come up to this wall and then flow back down through the, the entire system. But it's not just going to stop there. And that's what I need to get down and, and show you the rest of it. So we'll see you here in a second. Right now this is where the water is being pumped up to. And like I said, I'm just playing around with this toilet just to be fun and funny and all that kind of good stuff. But right now it's just pumping up to this location. Uh, it's probably about a... I think it's about a 3,000, 4,000 gallon per hour pump. Some of this pump will be split up to this wall. All right, now this is the wall. Basically, water is going to pour off the top of this, flow down in front of it with some concrete stuff that I'm going to create into a, a big pool out here in the front of it. The other half of the, the water that's coming from that pump is going to come over to the shed, the Franken shed that I told you about. It's a shed that's 
built from all the different parts and pieces and then uh, some of the stuff I had left over and, and a few things I had to buy. But ultimately that water is going to pump up, or half of it, maybe less, depending on how much I can get up here uh, to the tanks, are going to be pumped up to these tanks. I have a lot of tanks that um, that need water. You know, it needs a flow of water through them, a good flow of clean, purified water. And that is basically what those ponds were designed for. Um, clarifier, um, filter, biological, everything you need is basically in this stream system that I have set up here. And it works it works really well. Let me walk you on over here. Now it, it's fall right now and there's a lot of leaves in it. But you can see how clear it is. Now I have some pumps and stuff laying in it. It's just to keep the pumps from going bad. Now all these rocks that I have stacked up along the edge is just temporary. Just to, to hold down the liner and, and hopefully keep some of the leaves out um, you know, from blowing into the, uh, the pond. So this here is probably uh, like I said, about six to eight inches of pea gravel, and then all the plants, you know, planted right into the pea gravel. It works as a really, really good filter. I mean, it's just one of the best filters you could possibly have. And then ultimately flows back down to the fish, and you can see how clear the water is. I mean, it's just, you know, a, a super good filter. There's no filters other than these streams that I've created here. So I accomplished, you know, making clean water. That's what it boils down to. So taking this water and pumping it back up to, um, you know, the tanks is just, it's just good clean water. Now, but it's not just going to stop there. So let's jump back in here into the tanks. Now, if you look right underneath the tanks right there, there's a hole going through the wall. Now all the tanks are going to flow back into this, uh, it's actually a, a falls, a bio falls, but I'm just kind of using it to dump onto the other side. So all the water is going to drain from these tanks into that, that container right there, the bio falls. And basically how it's going to do that is you got to a bulkhead in the bottom of the tank. Water gets pumped into here and then flows out through here and then back down. Comes around back into that container there and then out to the other side. Now let me show you what's on the other side. See you in a second. Alright, now this is the other side of the shed through that little hole that I was showing you. Now I'm going to back away here to show you a big picture of what I'm doing and then uh, I'll bring you some in closer to show you some of the details and all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and back up. The water's got to be pumped up to the tanks. So as it leaves the tanks I just wanted to have some fun with it. Now there's a, that old van project that I was working on that had my tanks in it. That's going to be part of this feature too. So here you go. It's kind of, I don't know, let's call it a hobbit house. That's kind of what, it, what it's ending up. Alright, so let me walk up here and show you a few more details. Alright, so the water's coming out of there. Coming down through this channel up under this concrete rock that I, or um, log that I created. All this is out of concrete. I guess I should explain that. Uh, comes out this other side here. Down through that little hole coming up under the log. Down through this ripply canal here. Goes up under this, what you're seeing right here. Alright, now to explain the rock to you. Uh, it's basically wire mesh that you use for like stucco. Um, forming, you know, a shape and then taking thin concrete like peanut butter 
the concrete's got to be kind of like a, a peanut butter cons consistency and then spread it on there and then shape it and then paint it to make it look like a rock that's all this is this is a big giant scrap wood structure that I've put the wire mesh on and then created what you're seeing right now alright so to finish the flow it comes under the log down a little stream up under this now this right here is basically going to be covered so the water kind of disappears at this end and then comes out this end now the little spot right here on the other side you'll be able to see the stream coming this way now right, here's a little window that I created uh, got a ton more ideas on this this is made the same way with a wire mesh and then you know just made it look like a log uh, then the chimney you know you always see these old chimneys and I still have a little bit of work to do to it a little bit more detail and stuff on it you always see an old chimney from the 1800s 1900s you know just an old chimney and they always end up putting bricks on the top of it so that's kind of what I did here just just to, to make it look you know kind of neat all right so the water comes this end through here back down here to here and this is where the fun starts uh, this all started as I don't know let's call it a privacy fence and let me step over here to explain that this is the back side of the mirrors I was wanting to just create a fence here so I can have all my junk and projects on the other side and one thing led to the next and this is where we're at all right so we got that out of the way uh, water comes down here flows across this and then back up under this spot right here and now this is going to be another wall it's going to look something like this here all right it's going to be a rock wall look like it's a big giant boulder it's going to have another window in it something like this one right there in that one spot so the window will be right there now a lot of this you, you'll just have to use your imagination on it, it but it's sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's in my brain and I'm trying to tell you what it is but I'm doing my best <laughs> all right so this this part right here you'll be able to open this door and walk across the water now down here on the bottom are going to be concrete uh, wooden planks they're going to look like wooden planks but it's actually concrete so the water is going to flow in between those planks and then drop off and then flow up through there the wooden planks are going to come all the way across this I'm not finished over here it's going to come up to the van to where in reality you could wheel a wheelchair across this once once it's done uh, the entrance through there is like 36 inch, inches uh, so that's how wide and how accessible it's going to be you know so you'll be able to roll right across this uh, or walk across it with no trouble at all uh, the van that's a whole nother idea it's going to be concealed in a, a western style building the biggest thing what I'm concerned with is just using my tanks so this whole hobbit house western theme that I've got going here wouldn't look right with a well a 79 80 van whatever year this is so this van I get uh, you know covered up with a western style type building like a saloon or a uh, a jailhouse I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet the back side over here I have a lot of space that's gonna be in this little spot right here so this is probably gonna be a chicken coop not quite sure where this is going yet we got to get this part of it done first and then I'll work on on the rest of it and the same 
back in this direction. I want this covered up all the way across here, and why not have some fun with it? All right, I hope I'm not throwing too much at you. It's a lot to, to try to explain. So, so now we're going through the door. This is the Hobbit House door. Not done with it, still working on it. Basically, around the, the edges, it's going to have the same style log as that built in all the way around it and then once you get on the other side everything changes so this is just basically a fence is what it boils down to this is just to block everything off from this side now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and we'll uh, start another video here in a second see you in a minute all right so Ultimately, this here, once you come across these planks with the water flowing through, the water flows through the wall onto the other side. This little piece right here, now let's come back on this side. Come across here, this is going to be a deck system coming around and then coming back to the, the shed. This piece right here on this side is going to be like a tree made in the same fashion as the other stump that you seen back there that was wedged in between the rocks. This is all going to get covered up here to make it look like a boulder, kind of like the front side. And then, of course, the mirror system that I was showing you earlier into another reservoir of water here. And then this stream is going to flow off into that reservoir. The van is getting pumped, some water is going to get pumped into the van, into the two tanks, and then flow out a pipe that's down here, out this piece here into that reservoir too. And then back into that portion right there. Uh, let me back up and show you this part here. Now, once this is finished, this here will have a deck that starts right here that flows down and slowly ramps itself back up to this shed All right so it's, it'll be a nice smooth transition into the shed then it will turn here off the same system decking system and then flow right on up to that this part right here of course is going to be the water wheel um, this is a water wheel I built several years ago that I just need to um, you know put back together and and reinforce it and all that kind of good stuff this is going to be a, a working water wheel but it's going to serve a function this whole system right here is going to be a tank for salt water uh, fish need to be treated with salt uh, and a heavy concentration of salt for a short period of time to get rid of any parasites, that kind of stuff. And I want this reservoir here in order to be able to flip some valves, cycle the salt water, and then cycle it back out and turn it back into the, the normal filter system. So this is uh, going to serve a purpose, you know, to be able to treat the fish for whatever's happening. You know, they may have parasites that I need to get rid of. So salt and some other chemicals that I... I can put in this tank, cycle it through all my tanks, once it's completed, flip it back to the fresh water and then cycle it out. So this is the back side of the hobbit cage or hobbit house, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be kind of a cavey looking something in here, maybe some stagmites, stagmites, you know, just I'm going to have some fun with it. So this will all be concrete, you know, wire mesh up the back and then, you know, some kind of form in here. And then you'll be able to see through here from over here on the deck, you'll be able to look right into there and see that stream going through there. So just, you know, kind of a, an added little fun feature. Now this whole project is going to take me some time. Um, you know, I always joke and carry on that you know, this is kind of my therapy. I, I just have to do it. I can't get away from it. So uh, a couple hours a day working on it, 
and you kind of see where I'm at so far. I've, I've, got, I've come a long ways, and uh, so, so that's where we're at. Now, of course, there's a Winnebago. The Winnebago is going to be in with the scene, too. Uh, maybe a 60s campsite. I don't know. Don't know where it's going to go, but I want to fix that Winnebago eventually. So why not block it up right there, turn it into like a little campsite, and have some fun with it. So that's kind of where we're at. I know that's a lot. It's going to take me a while to get all this done. But as long as I, you know, take my time and have some fun with it, that's exactly what it's designed for. It's just to, you know, enjoy myself. I, I enjoy creating stuff. Um, so why not raise fish and then whatever's coming out of the fish, in other words, the water and all that stuff, let's, let's use it to have some fun. And that's kind of what I'm doing with all this. You know, uh, I'm, I'm spending the energy to pump that water up and then basically letting gravity, you know, take it back down and and then recycle and clean itself through the through the whole system that I've got. All right, but this is what I'm going to be working on until it's done. Is this portion right here? Uh, at least from the van all the way back across to here. This has to be finished. I I need to finish all the boulders in front of it here. Uh, I need to finish the cave work right, right there, the planks, um, and depending on the response I get from the video, you know, I'll be glad to, to share, you know, and, and tell you how I'm doing it, how I'm building it, but uh, what I've noticed out here in, in YouTube land is people like finished prod products, you know, they like to see the finished project and, you know, what it looks like. A lot of people don't really care how it was done, they just want to see what it looks like and, you know, how it ended up, so kind of my thinking this time uh, but we'll see how it goes I got a lot of projects that I want to work on and hopefully now that we have a, a new house and a piece of property I can uh, start working on some of these projects and and uh, share them with everybody and a sneak peek at the house there's the side view of it and I'll share some pictures you know, down the road and, and kind of show you what's going on with it. Now you can see all my trash and stuff over here. I'm trying to get rid of that and try to hide it as much as I can. But that was the whole idea of this wall was to to conceal some of my projects and some of the mess that I've got back here. And so uh, it's kind of where we're at. <clears throat> well, that's it for now. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. And uh, we'll talk to you next one. Take care.